Flockwatch app is, is helping me save time, um, gathering all the information, whereas before it's, it's there in one place on the app, um, whereas before I'd have it uh, all over the place. And uh, it's, I can see that uh, by using the app that I'm improving uh, my efficiency and ultimately that's at the end of the day I'll have more lambs to sell for you and go forward. Welcome back to MassQ Flock. Uh, this is my brother Tom who farms here on, on MassQ Flock and uh, this is Tim. And we've had a, a busy period since we were uh, last speaking to you about Flockwatch. I've been using Flockwatch uh, basically all spring for lambing, for recording lambing tasks, so birth weights of the lambs, uh, the, how lively they are at birth, um, and the milkiness of the O and, and the traits like that. So I want to use it that way so I'll be able to identify my best yo's going forward and that I'll be able to improve the flock by recording all the time. Um, and then again as the spring's gone on I've used it for um, recording my worming, first wormer for the lambs and for uh, pour on treatment for fly strike as well. So that's what I've been mainly using it for so far. Blockwatch we've been able to record notes on individual yo's ones that perform badly or ones that we've known have had issues with. We've been able to take pictures of good lambs, bad lambs, traits that we were looking for, we weren't looking for, and I suppose we'll have all that information now that we didn't have before. I've been noting yo's for, say, a few cases of mastitis, and yo's say that maybe had um, poor milk supply at birth and things like that, um, where it was easy just to, to scan her tag and uh, it was uploading the phone so later on in the year when I'm selling the O's that I know I just have to go through the O's and uh, pick them out that way instead of maybe looking for a mark with a spray can or something like that so it's um, I, I shouldn't have any of them hanging around next year.